is a tutorial for the precision. Um, if you don't know what precision is, it's uh, pretty easy. Basically, precision is just jumping from one spot to another spot. Now, there's not a specific science to it. It's actually fairly easy. Um, what matters is that you have really good feet eye coordination, that you're really good at jumping from one spot to another. Um, you want to make sure, if, you, uh, if you're unsure about jumping from a specific spot to another spot, try doing like on flat ground, say, all right, I'm here at this spot, you know, this line, you know, pick imaginary lines, even like little shadows in the ground, they're good for like spotting like that. And say, I want to jump from like there to there, you know, so, haha, <laughs> I knew it. All right, so say I want to jump from like, you know, here to this crack over here, so I run, jump, boom, you know. And what's important if you're in for the exercise or even like the formal way of precisions, you want to really get your balance. Land all the way down, heels off the ground on the balls of your feet, get your balance. The lower you are, the better your center of balance is going to be. Whereas if I'm here and I'm pushing myself off balance, you know, it looks awkward. But if I'm down here, I'm off balance when my feet are moving. So you kind of see how it looks a little bit easier than it is up here. So first, I'm going to show you precision from here. On your feet, your placement, you don't want to have them too far off the ledge because you actually want to jump off the balls of your feet. When you're going for a distance, be careful because it takes a while to kind of understand how to use your body. It is a lot of hips, it is a lot of arms, and it's mostly your legs because your legs is what takes most of the damage from it. So, to demonstrate. <laughs> Two, you'll learn to breathe. Three, you'll get a workout from it. And it's great for those who are looking for a new way to exercise. So again, here, the balls of my feet are on the ledge, not my heels, all right? When you're going for distance, kind of lean forward a little bit. So when you jump, you have to take off at kind of like this angle, not this angle. If you're here, when you get to your spot, you're gonna be hitting it like this, and you're gonna have to push off, and then bam, that's how, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, there's a video where a guy tries to jump from a roof and it falls like 20 feet. Not fun. So really make sure, if you can, jump kind of up and out. So when you're landing on the, the spot you're going to, you're coming down. So I'm here. Cool. Now when you place yourself, if you notice when I'm precisioning, I bring my knees up like this and then carry them through like that. That helps. Whereas if, I'm, if I swing my legs like this, that's going to cause my, my upper body to come back. So when I'm precisioning, watch again, I'm gonna slow this one down. As I'm coming, as I'm jumping, my legs from here and then carry through and then plant down. Okay? And the same thing. So you can follow through. One here, boom, boom. Come down on it. And if you watch, when I land the precisions, I come down. Get that balance point, heels off the ground. If you come into a ledge, Kind of let your heels come down because they'll be off the ledge and you'll be focusing more on the balls of your feet which is a really good drill for those of you who want to get like the real good exercise from it it's a good ankle workout too because you're learning you're learning to stay on the balls of your feet it's like uh in tricking if you learn to do all the tricks off the balls of your feet like anis watch his samplers and stuff sometimes he comes on the balls of his feet off every combo even daniel graham a lot of really good trickers will stay on the balls of your feet throughout an entire combo and it's good for strong ankles let me walk you guys through some really basic, easy precisions. If you have a place like this, or kind of like a narrow pathway, where it kind of goes like that, start small, work your way up. So something small, like here, you know, work in that spot. You want to jump and hit that dead spot. Keep your eye on that spot, and here. Boom, you know? When you get comfortable with that, if you fall back, it's okay, because if you're beginning, that's, that's, not, that's not a problem. When you go for something further, like from here to something like that, here, boom. Okay, and even if you don't land with your feet fully on the ledge, if you land here, it's okay. When you're going for distance, be careful because if it's a slippery surface, you land here, slip, ouch. All right, so kind of focus. Be careful if you're gonna land like on the middle of your feet here because it's really easy to sprain your ankles like that. Even if you land too far on the balls of your feet, you can sprain your ankles really bad. So make sure you're really paying attention to coming down on it. When you're coming down on it, it's easier to control when you go down to your knees. Whereas if you're coming at it, you come here and you're pushing with your ankles, but if your ankles aren't supported all the way, they're gonna go down while your legs flex and it does not feel good at all. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about precisions. 
I'm gonna do one kind of example so you guys can kind of see um, where precision can take you. All right, so for an example, that's where you can work out. Now, not all those were precisions. There are things called one step precisions where you're coming from one spot to another like that and you work on transferring and dropping center a little bit, swing your leg and pushing out. The key to that one is when you're coming, when your leg's here, drop your center, swing your legs over here, you're pushing up. So you're swinging and pushing up. That kind of gets the, the river flowing kind of idea. Um, in a nutshell, that's pretty much all I can say about precision. Do you have any other pointers? Throw them in there. Other than that, take care, stay well, stay positive, you guys.